Oh, hey, you! I almost forgot you were coming over. I didn't. I actually spent a while cleaning up before you came, but hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to my bedroom. Don't close the door on the way out. Okay, you decided to do that. That's okay, that's fine. So welcome to my bedroom. This is what it looks like. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this angle a bit much in the recent past. I mean, I just moved here, but this is it. Now, I get a lot of YouTubers that comment on my videos. Evan, how are you able to make a video without, like, the softbox light glaring on your glasses? Well, that's because the setup here, as you can see, I have the, the softboxes angled at different ways towards me, so that way they're kind of bouncing at different angles. So unless I turn my glasses this way, you won't really tell that there's a glare. I actually learned that from my friend Luke Cutford. Uh, also, I just recently invested in a Sennheiser MKE 600, and that's hopefully to improve the audio in my videos. That's fed into my original microphone with a dead cat there on the ground, and that is a Samson H4N. Someone's texting me! I can't believe that they're doing this. Dodie, seriously, she's late. Good. I'm, I'm glad we have more time together. Well, this is my bed. I have some, stop it, Dodie, Egyptian cotton sheets. I bought those specifically because I wanted to feel luxury. Okay, that, I wanted to feel luxury. I got these two Pokemon plushies at MCM. I, I recently started cuddling them when I realized how death and scarily alone I was. And uh, Snorlax, he's a very good cuddler. Snores a lot more than me, but, you know, I don't complain. Also, if you're wondering, I put these up recently. These are the three paintings that I got from my Instagram. These are all three individual Instagrams that I've taken. Um, and each one represents, like, a different part of me. Uh, I, it sounds lame, I guess, but the way I wanted my room to feel was essentially, this is me in Melbourne, Australia, like, because I love the city, I love city life, that's why I live in, in London. Um, this is the Brighton Wheel uh, at sunset, and for me that represents, like, I don't know, loving the, the sea and entertainment and just having fun. And then the last one over there is uh, actually New Zealand, and that's just open air and freedom. And to me, I, I really like traveling, I like seeing just open worlds, and that's why I'm really excited. Uh, I'm going back to New Zealand, actually, in three weeks. So, that's fun. That's fun. I also have some other posters. I've got a Reliant K, Forget Not So Down poster over here. The Hashtag Spawn pun poster. Just walking around thing. With all my 25 puns on them. And my lovely map of Middle Earth, which while I'm reading Lord of the Rings, I do honestly go through and go, wait a minute. Where are they? Where are they right now? Where, where, what, what's going on here? Oh, so right now I'm in The Return of the King and everything is just going down in Gondor. So I can kind of see that all happening down there. Now, on this side, you might have been wondering, Evan, what is up with those really cool lamps that you've had? And I'm like, well, they are, they are cool lamps. As you can tell, it is purple. However, all right, it doesn't have to be purple if I don't want it to be. See, look at this. Oh, no, it's blue. Okay. Oh, no, it's, it's green, yellow. I have an app, right? I can, I, can, I can move stuff around. They are the coolest lamps I've ever had. However, we're going to settle on purple. They both sync, by the way, so it's not like I'm just, just controlling one. We're, we're all sunk up here. Uh, on, on the background, I do have a no admittance except on party business, which is a reference to The Hobbit. Obviously, big on Lord of the Rings. Got a Kindle just uh, for nightside reading. My passport stays here. And then I have my 100K plaque just to kind of be like, thank you, that's cool. Uh, I have a poster over here, which is a quote from an Andrew McMahon song. Some days all I do is watch the sky. That song, I don't know, for me, always gets me and it makes me feel happy, so I like that. I do have a lot of Yoshis in this room. This is my first one. It is a cheeky little Yoshi that I got uh, two jobs ago from some co-workers. Same with this one. This is an amiibo, so uh, his name is Boshi, named after the Super Mario RPG Yoshi. And uh, I actually battle him at Super Smash Bros. quite often. I also have another amiibo because I don't even battle them really, I just like Yoshi because it's like, yeah, it's my guy in Super Smash Bros. Now, also, the plant that you rejected on Valentine's Day from me still hurts, by the way. Still hurts. Japanese Peace Lily cleans all the toxins in the room. Uh, it's actually NASA's number one rated plant for cleaning toxins out of the air, which is pretty good. Um, I got this boomerang from a viewer in Australia last year with Dodie, and it was uh, really lovely, so I've kept that. I like that in my backdrop. And lastly, a Yankee candle. To show everyone, yes, I'm American. I like good smell. Okay, I like it when the room smells like Lake Sunset. You know, I spent a half hour in that Yankee Candle store to find the right scent because you need the right scent for the room. I don't want something cliche. Like, I don't know, clean cotton. Now, here we have my closet where I like to stay inside. No, I, I don't. Uh, so, on this side of the closet, I have mostly all my jumpers, but it looks like I don't really have that many. It's because all my winter ones are now stored away, the Christmas ones. I'm not obviously going to be wearing the Christmas pug jumper anytime soon. I have my jackets, my hoodies, my coats, my blazer, and my suit. And then, then the place I don't like going right. Up here, up there, in the terrifying abyss, 
Those are all my university books from my master's in actuarial science, and also my statistics notes from my statistics degree in New Jersey. And I've kind of kept them, because maybe, who knows, I will need to know how to do a, a, a t-test, a double-sided t-test someday. I did! I actually did a lot of statistics based on my Valentine's video uh, that I'm doing a presentation on on Google sometime next week, so that's pretty cool. I also have, like, a lot of organized books, uh, because I don't really have a bookshelf yet, so I've kind of just put my books up there for safekeeping, I'll figure it out. Also, something cool I got recently from Twitter is a travel bag. Look at this guy. It's a, it's a little travel bag for, that I use for all my carry-on, uh, like, toiletries, and it has my name on it and my Twitter, so maybe if I lose it, someone can tweet me, Evan, I found your, your deodorant. Speaking of deodorant, let's go into the bathroom. I have an en suite, okay? And yes, it is quite sweet. Now, here we have yeah, oh, that's me and you. That's me and you right there. This is is the bathroom. Uh, now, I could make a lot of puns about this area, but uh, they'll probably sink, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> you can't really force it. When, for, force it, no. Uh, now, I, I would really love to have a nice, like, toothbrush holder, but I don't have one right now, so I'm kind of just using a, a teeth, a tea. Ha, t tea, s teeth, maybe, kind of, I don't know. Got the soaps, got all my stuff. This bio oil got me through my cactus incident, which, if you notice, my arm is completely fine. You got over it, thank you to bio oil. You know, we got the standard toothbrush, toothpaste, floss. Um, this stuff, really, I, I put on if I have a spot, and I think maybe it'll work. Maybe it's all in my head, though, and I'm like, is it less red? I hope. And, you know, the standard other stuff, somehow, for three years I've been in England, I've kept this this piss cup. I don't think anyone even gets the inside joke about the piss cup anymore. Maybe it's just a legend. It was in a live show that happened like three years ago, I can't remember. So, if you can remember, please tell me. I also have this this cool light, which I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on for you. It's basically the same thing as the spheres. Well, if I could if I can open this guy, which I can't. Basically it turns colors. I should have turned it on beforehand. I'm just gonna drop that on the floor. And lastly, I have a nice little shower. It's it's not that bad, really. It's not a bad place. <sighs> also, we're just gonna slide open the full full mirror, just like the other flat I had. I had a full mirror so I can check myself out in the morning and be like, yeah, that's good enough for a Snapchat. Not bad. Open up. And then we have all of my nice button-up shirts. So we have the long ones, we have the short ones right here, and then we have the summery style ones, and then we have some over shirts like denim jackets and stuff. Also, there's like just, there's things that I put there that I don't really understand what I'm putting there. <laughs> like, everyone has has a pile of stuff, right? Like, everyone in their flat or their home, they have a drawer where they just throw things. I hope so. I don't want to be alone here, but this is mine, okay? Look, <laughs> look at this. It's just all the wires and tech- there's like, there's a, my old DSLR. I need to sell this. What am I gonna- why? Why is it still here? This is pretty good. Charges seven full iPhone charges if I bring this on a trip. I've got a GoPro, my Wii U, my Wii U is here, so I can play Smash Brothers. Um, I do have a TV that came with the flat here. I just haven't really done much with it yet. So, uh, and also I got this cute little trash can. It's, it's cute. It's me, because I'm trash. It's, uh... Anyway, that, for the most part, I think, is a full one-take review of my room. I have some Red Wing boots. I have some shoes. I have nice little tables. What do you think? I, I spent a long time trying to make sure I liked everything. I'm still, like, looming up into the darkness of the university books there. And lastly, I do have, oh, goodbye. I have this uh, vinyl of Everything in Transit by Jack's Mannequin. I'm gonna chop my throat off there. Uh, I haven't really found out what to do with it yet because I don't have a record player. I was thinking maybe I can get it framed, put that up somewhere, but for the most part, the room is, is finished and I like it and I'm pretty happy with it. So this has been, yeah, I like this. This is such a chill little room tour. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you liked it, you can like it. If you wanna subscribe, you can do that. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Well, look at you. You stayed after the outro. You just really like content, don't you? I forgot. I have all of the little badges I've ever gotten from different YouTube conventions and things. Chilling on the door. I don't know why I've kept them all. For some reason, I have. And I just keep building them up. Evan Edinger with a passion for puns. Thanks, VidCon. Anyway, uh, by the way, thank you to everyone that had kind words to say to me on my last video. I very much appreciate it. No, I, I, I know my nose is fine. Thanks. Thanks for all the positive things. Uh, very lovely. And uh, after my trip to Berlin that I went on last week, honestly, 
mental health way up. I feel really happy. I'm very good. Uh, and next week, uh, no, in two weeks, I'm going to Australia on the entire East Coast, and then I'm going to New Zealand, and then Playlist Live, and then Switzerland, maybe Tennessee, I don't know. There's a lot of travels happening, so if you didn't check out my travel channel, youtube.com slash yet, there's gonna be daily travels over there. So, thanks for checking that out, and thanks for uh, keeping to watch out for the outro, and just existing. So, thank you. Goodbye.